By the way, that's going to mean that, interestingly enough, that we see higher oil prices rather than lower oil prices. Because when oil prices fell, the first thing that happened is these producers had a lot of debt. So they had to keep the oil flowing to pay the cash down. I mean, you know, to have the cash flow. Then, but now we're a year later. And they haven't made any new investments for a year. Mm -hmm. I mean, once the oil price fell, so a year after no new investments, we're going to start seeing production declines for the first time. And uh, so we may see a, a move toward the, kind of the upper range in oil prices over the next three, four months. Well, that, that, that'll be interesting. That'll, that'll also affect uh, the inflation numbers on, on a year-over-year -year basis. Well, you know, one of the things economists are very good at is forecasting the past. And what we do is we know that energy prices fell dramatically in the first quarter of this year. And so on year over year percent comparisons, that will drop out in the first quarter of next year. So it's almost a no brainer that the general inflation rate that was pushed down by energy prices will go back up to about one and a half percent to 1.7 percent by March. So you're expecting energy prices to start to gravitate a bit higher. But that what I just said, energy prices don't have to move at all to get the general year-over-year -year inflation rate back to 1.5% because you're comparing to a year ago. Right. Uh, but yes, I am expecting a slight increase in energy prices upward rather than this extrapolation downward. And it might be held off if we get this uh, strong El Nino pattern this winter. It might not be this winter, but perhaps next spring as more and more uh, Permian Basin rigs uh, shut down and so on with yes. less rigs drilling, less supply of oil, and so in the next year we should start to see oil ticking up in price. Yes, yes. Uh, what you just, on the El Nino, that's going to particularly hit natural gas. If we have a warmer than a normal winter, which we did the last time we had our super strong El Nino, so it's like 1998, mm -hmm. and so if we have that pattern repeated, uh, natural gas prices will stay low, and, and so will uh, heating oil prices. But then we'll see, we could then after that see some upward creep in both oil and natural gas prices.